What's going on YouTube? Dr. Popcorn Burger here with Rocky Reborn. And today we are going to do a rant on the TTR mods, in particular Goshi. We are going to expose his uh, power hungriness and we are going to expose his abusive modding. Uh, this is yeah. what this video is about. Uh, Rocky, would you like to start off? No problem. I'll be glad to. So let's start right from the beginning. My first encounter with Goshi. I was, what, 80 laugh or so? And I was in Cash Watt HQ. I was going to do my first CFO, or well, one of my first at least. And I saw this tune, uh, these tunes arguing. I wasn't really paying much attention. Then I see uh, a tune in Goshi with the TCR staff little icon thingy that they have. And then he'll appear out of thin air. So I was immediately scared, even though I did nothing wrong. He just creeped me out. I was like, wait, what just happened? So then he told this tune, stop being mean and to behave better. Then he said in like a creepy type of way, good luck, I'll be watching. Then he just disappeared. And I was like, okay, that's creepy. And then the tune started talking about Goshi again. Then he appeared like out of nowhere yet again. And I was like, really creepy. Out. I was like, how are they watching us like that? That's really creepy. I don't like being watched like that. And then, you know, Goshi just eventually gave him another warning and went away for good that time. Uh, I didn't get in trouble, of course. I did nothing wrong. It's just encountered another tune getting persecuted by Goshi. So that's the end of that time. Now, the second time I encountered Goshi was after VP. I was around, what, 103 laugh? You'll probably see the screenshot on the video here if I edit it in. And uh, what happened, I was in a VP with my friend here, Dr. Popcorn. He had both of his tunes, and we were with another friend. I think it was our friend Jonathan. I'm not sure 100%. But we just, like, did a four-man. You know, we just uh, we were high enough to do it with, that, with uh, ease. So I said, F-A-Q, VP. So I was basically saying FVP, you know, the curse word. I admit that was wrong. That was wrong. However, it was with friends and they were consenting in our Skype call and we were just having a joke. Now, I know that Goshi and the TTR staff aren't like, how could they know it was friends? And I understand that, but they didn't really care after I told them that and everything. But I digress. So what happened after that VP? Goshi appeared in Titi's no, appeared in Daisy's gardens with me and said something like, "You've been naughty, Rocky. Um, please don't curse in the game." Well, you'll see the screenshots of exactly what he said. Um, it was quite scary. He was like, "Have fun," and then he just walked away. That was really weird. Really weird. Um, that was just an in-game warning. He was happened to be watching chat logs or something came up, and I thought, okay, no problem if I just. Uh, don't joke with my friends in game like that again. I'll be fine. So nothing really happens until I get banned twice for saying things in the nature of I'm going to green you and things like that. Um, this isn't specifically about Goshi what I'm going to bring up. But one of those times I said I'm going to green you in my estate alone with no one around to hear me. I sent that proof video proof of me doing that to the staff but they did not care they kept the ban uh, i do not know if goshi specifically put this ban on he might as well could have just because he disliked me no idea why but i'm just saying it's a possibility so a few months go by and you know ttr mods i don't really pay any notice to them uh nobody in my toontown group does then one day my friend Ottercon, tune name Dr. Dynamite. Uh, he decides to do a VP. He doesn't want to green. You might have saw our other video on my other channel, uh, Belog Safarian, uh, Abusive Moderator Rant. Basically, this quick synopsis of that. Uh, my friend saw a shit tune in this VP who was like training or something like that. And then he decided he was going to like mess around with them. He passed a few times. And then on the pie round, he ran into the VP a few times. You know, and then Goshi, being the abusive mod he is, just popped out of nowhere, scary. I know. Um, and he said, well, 
I guess it's time to make a new tune. I mean, come on, how unprofessional is that? And then he followed to kick him off the server. And the warning was, uh, you've been like a bad tune. Behave better next time. And then my friend was like, oh, okay, just a warning. No problem at all. You know, he, he won't do it again. And then what happens is he logs on and then he gets kicked off again for the same thing. He tries to log back on the game, but what happens, it says your account has either been unactivated or disabled. Okay, And that basically means if uh, you haven't seen it before, in the olden days of GTR beta, it means he was banned. So he checked his email. And uh, this was Goshi who sent the email. And it said the reason for the ban was, and I quote, greater than strong. What I mean by this, he put the greater than sign, and then he typed strong. I just typed it in end game, so you can see it. Greater yeah. than sign, strong. No. Yeah, nothing else. Not even like, um, sincerely, TTR support. No, no, none of that. Just greater than strong. Not, like, of course, it was t the t email was titled ticket, whatever, but nothing else. Nothing else at all. So then... Uh, uh, he sent in an email saying, what does this mean? And they responded, oh, that was a typo. Our bad. Um, they gave a proper reason. And they said that they almost terminated him for his attitude after the VP. If you're going to say he has an attitude for wondering why you guys put greater than strong, then what the hell? Because, How you I mean... How for attitude, too? Like, I mean, I don't know. And... Uh, I'll get into this in like a few minutes here, but speaking of banning, back then there were no rules. So yeah, there were basically no rules. every single yep every single ban leading up to what a few months ago to us and and if you have common sense shouldn't count because there are no rules to follow. And they would, and for, they would for all put, you know, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, and they and they would put in. Like, uh, the emails, they'd be like, we've noticed an infraction of the, the rules, of the TTR rules. And uh, it, that's kind of ironic because those rules are not listed anywhere. You cannot find these rules, which um, prompted us to make a video and all on that. And um, I prayed kind of kind of oddly um, about, like, a couple hours after that video went up, they made rules on the site, which, uh, I mean, I could... Okay, they have rules now, but the rules, I, I, got a, I got a problem with some of those rules, too. Not, not because, okay, they're not, like, it's, it's more, it's not because I don't, like, agree, whether or not I agree with them is irrelevant. It's, they're just very subjective and open to interpretation a little bit too much, these rules. But, um, yeah, it, we, we might not like they harm us. Yeah, it's not like those rules harm us in any sp specific way it's just that as as Anthony here said they're open to any interpretation of yes. it like yeah. why is why is um, making a tune waste their gags um not bannable when greening uh, also making a tune waste their gags is or the same offense or just in different ways yeah, i mean like my, interpretation my, my, my biggest thing is uh, one of my biggest things is I, mean, I don't want to go too far into the rules aspect of it right now is don't be quote annoying because that's open. I mean, if I reported everyone I found annoying in this game, I mean, I would have reported 90% of the tunes that play this game at some point. Like, what is annoying to one is perfectly fine to another. Like, I mean, honestly, like, cats talking over and over is annoying to me. Oh my Cat, god, yeah. Warrior cats are annoying. If I ever, if you ever see the warrior cats in uh, Chippendale's Acorn, that's annoying to me. But. I don't think I should be able to report someone for annoying and get them banned for being annoying, like, over that. But anyway, that's branching onto a different subject. Uh, I just wanted to give my uh, quick interpretation of the Otacon incident. I, uh, we've rambled on about that a little long now. Um, yeah. Let's probably move on to the next, uh, yep. next example. Let me move on. Let me move on to the next example. So, uh, as I was saying, my timeline with Goshi. Um, you know, oh, they finally implemented the rules. So, 
a few months passed by, and I think it was exactly December 26. I think it was that day, the day, Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. And I thought, oh shit, hopefully Boss Boy HQ comes out. I wait and wait and wait like I have done for months and months for TTR. Nothing. So, you know, I decided to help my friend Otterkon get his stock options just in case they do have Boss Spot HQ as like a late update. So we go to the Berg, you know, Walrus Way has quite a lot of boss spots. Five story, he'll get his stock options easy. And then I encounter uh, I encounter a few tunes. And on my way, I was just, you know, having a bit of fun. I said the speed chat phrase, you stink, right? This eventually gathered like, what, 20 tunes? So Ottercon teleports, Dr. Dynamite. He starts stinking them with me, okay? And then these people begin to say, and I quote, uh, get a life, or, and other stuff, like, like that. Like, you have no uh, you, life. You get, you get the idea. Just, no, like, actually, like, really legit offensive things, like. Actually, all we were saying was, you stink. A phrase Jesse Shaw oh, made on his lunch. Speed chat phrase, lunch pre -made break. In the game. Right there. Yep. yep. Pre-made phrase, and you know what? We got kicked many times for it, and eventually we got a three-day ban. We're saying you stink. Then, yes. like a few weeks later, I encountered one of the tunes that said we had no life. I asked them if they were warned or if they got banned. They said no. How come someone who says a speech chat phrase gets banned, but the person who t obviously takes no offense by saying you have a life and says that also offensive remark doesn't even get a mere warning? I mean, I spoke to the random dog about this. He said some crap about, oh, the mod may have like a bias or be in a mad mo bad mood. And he was saying stuff well, like that's all the time. everyone, yeah, <laughs> if that's everyone has a bias. We understand everyone has a bias, but there's like there's a point where it's a bias and where it's common sense. Yeah. Common sense is not banning someone for saying a pre-implemented phrase into the game. Yeah, my thing is like okay, yeah, our at Lord and point, Savior shall. Yes, <laughs> at what point can you? Uh, it's like how can my thing is how can you actually say you stink? Without getting banned for it. And if there's not a way to say it without getting banned for it, I mean, I guess you might say, oh, you say it to your friends. Well, we'll get to that later. Um, but if it's if it's a bannable phrase, then why is it a pre-made speed chat phrase? See this right here? I'm not, I'm not typing anything. This is not typing. This is clicking. I clicked that. That's a function. Not a function of the game, but that's a phrase in the game like you're supposed to be able to say that the te i mean the, why would they put something in the game you're not supposed to say and they tried to say oh well it was left to interpretation or something at the time and it was clearly you're clearly trying to be abusive with it or something i mean okay maybe he was if he was he was but were why were the other people not given any why was nothing done to the other uh, to the uh, to the others that actually did say typing they type abusive things, like worse things. Like you think, I mean, honestly, how does that offend anyone? It really is just a joke phrase. Like I've never once taken offense to you stink from all the time, from when I was young playing Toontown to how, uh, to when I'm playing Toontown now, I've never once taken offense to you stink. I just LOL and keep going. That's how, that's how uh, some tunes, some of the more mature players uh, react to it as well. But some of the, the uh, butthurt crowd yeah, they get a little pissy. But um, anyway, yeah, that's that's Rocky's. Uh, that's what happened to Rocky. He got banned for using a speed chat phrase. So, uh, and that yeah. that might be it. That might not just be Goshi. I have a feeling it's Goshi, but uh, it might be some it probably other was. too. I don't know. Yeah. yeah so this isn't even the half of what Goshi. This is like the. Oh yeah, this is just leading up to the grand the, finale. The grand, the actual of real bullshit stuff. Excuse the language. That's later. Yeah. So, you know, me and Otacon, we got banned three days. Um, uh, yeah, let me just move on from this story. So, now time has passed. Um, we're talking like, now we're in the time zone of two weeks ago. So, a Hold friend... Um, what, you want me to bring up what happened to Jeffrey? Prior, it was in, oh, in the oh yeah. My, my yes. bad. My bad. That's Definitely. Fine. 
Okay, Go so ahead. um, my cousin Jeffrey, Nom Nom Apple Pie, uh, he's uh, he doesn't play Toontown a whole lot. I mean, he's starting to more, but he's like, uh, he's like what? He's in the bird now. He's almost out of the bird now. But yeah, at this point, he was like a little bit lower than that, probably in Melody Land or Daisy Girl. I don't know where he was. But anyway, he's just sitting there doing this, jumping. I'm jumping. You see me jumping? Yes. Uh, he's just jumping. You know how you do that? You press Control. It's a function of the game. You have to do it to complete certain things in the game. And uh, he's just standing there jumping. Jumping back and forth. Just jumping. Just having a good old time. Like the tunes at Bean Fest do. You know, just jumping. And uh, a mod whispers to him, all caps, stop jumping. Just real loud. Stop jumping. I mean, not real out. In all caps, stop jumping. And it's in, it's in red, so you know it's a moderator thing. They just yell, stop jumping to him. Um, okay. So, we're not, he's not allowed to use a function of the game. And I, he stopped jumping. He did stop. And uh, nothing else happened. But, uh, like, that, like, if you're allowed to tell people to not use game functions, and if they continue to do that, you're going to kick them and or ban them, which I don't know if that would have occurred. I can only assume, but he got told to stop doing it. Yeah. How are you going I'm, to? How, how are you? How are you going to function, tell people they cannot use game? No, functions? the game. This is a game now, function. What? What next? It's, what next? it's one thing. It's, it's one thing if he was trying to push a tune into the building, which he wasn't. No, he was just standing. All there, he was doing in the game. in the playground. It was in the playground, and this tune was just standing like in the middle of the playground. He was jumping. Why don't we see tunes getting warned or banned for when Smirk used to do his streams, huh? I bet hundreds of players would have been banned by now if that was the case. Yeah, oh Come yeah, on, it's Smirk used to stream, they, they crowded him, and they would jump up and down and do everything. I mean, it was... Doing that cause causes more harm by giving server lag than one tune jumping on one player, not even pushing them into harm's way. No, what like, he what does is he, he'll jump, like, around them and, like, over them a couple times, and a lot of people just laugh or something, I don't know. He was just he was just chilling, like having fun for a minute before he went and went, went and did something else. But I mean, like, how are you gonna like tell people to stop jumping? What next? Stop speaking? Like, are you not allowed to run forward too many steps? You have to like now make a turn or something? Like, like how, what what next? What what next? T two or what like what next? But anyway, that's that's a more minor thing. I mean, it just points. It's very stupid and it's very unreasonable and pathetic that they would do that. But no ban occurred or anything, so I'll, we'll just uh, leave it from there. I have a feeling that was Goshi, because history history says that's Goshi doing that, but uh, go on, Rock. Yeah, so after this, um, yeah, now we're in the time span of two weeks ago, and a friend who I will not name, uh, he's in Donald's stuff, and I'm, like, chilling, and then he says, holy crap. Goshi's here, and naturally, I immediately teleport. Uh, I admit I was foolish for this, but I just wanted to get a reaction. Um, I teleported, and I walk up to Goshi, and I said, Is it time for me to make a new tune yet? Uh, Anthony, if you mind playing this video real quick. Sure thing. Uh, I will uh, I'll get that right up here. One second. Let me hide this. All right. Uh, had to hide Bandcamp. Goshi kicking me for no reason. Rocky's video. All right. Oh, look, this has five dislikes. Uh, huh. wonder why. One like and five dislikes. Uh, yeah. ETR community for you. I'll let the video play. Yep. Yeah. So you probably see me um running across the pier to Goshi. If not, I'm already at him by now. And uh, you see, I just say, hey, AB mod, which is just true. Or for all he know, I could have said, hey, a best mod, you know? <laughs> Anyways. Um, I'm not sure where in the video you can see now, but uh, I say, is it time for me to make a new tune? Goshi says yes. I type it again, but I think before I can type it or say it, it kicks okay. me off. Yes. Well, you said it twice. You said, yeah, you've been warned for harassing other tunes. Try to behave next time. Harassing other tunes? Harassing other He's tunes. the one who said that in the first place. I'm simply quoting what a mod says mods are supposed to be looked up to right yeah i was looking up to him and quoting him yeah oh how is that harassment wait, no like, something he said yeah 
Please, I, please explain just, to me how uh, saying "time to make a new tune" is it time for me to make a new tune is harassment. That is all he is doing there is simply pointing out how wrong that is and saying it to Goshi. He's just quoting him. It's like if if Goshi, if by that logic. Harassing. So, so saying "time to make a new tune" is harassing. Did Goshi harass Otakon? Yes. It's something to think about then. If if that's what we're going with, if we're going with uh, "time to make a new tune" is harassment to say as a phrase, then he uh, Goshi harassed Otakon. Yeah. I mean, okay. Uh... Uh, nothing else to say in that. Really, just really stupid. And Otako... Just not power hungry. I just have power joke. hungry. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. There. Yeah, exactly. Otako not wanting Goshi to be exposed. Uh, deleted a Reddit post about it I made. Um, why you would want to delete a post about truths, I do not know. Yeah, that's something anyway. Otaku will do all the time. Uh, a lot of times, anytime you say something that Otaku does not agree with, Otaku will delete it, and yeah. we have we, that's another rant. I'm sure you may or may not have seen it. Uh, we may make another one at some point, just discussing. And we have proof. We we talked to him in game. Uh, he's he's bans people just because he doesn't uh, he doesn't agree with what they say, and he deletes their stuff because he doesn't agree with what they say. There is no individuality allowed on the TTR Reddit. This is. But anyway, not not about yeah. Otaku, this is about Goshi. The actual yep. and other TCR mods. So we'll continue. So then, in our time span, and this is one of the last uh, encounters I've had with Goshi. So, the same friend who uh, found Goshi that time finds him again. Now, I wasn't on at the time. but uh, And then he was like talking with Goshi, saying hi. He was trying to get on his friendly side. And then Goshi he says, well, it was nice talking, but uh, time to catch some more greeners. So an idea popped into our minds. Well, I, I got on five minutes after this happened. And unfortunately, Goshi TP'd away. So an idea popped into our minds. Goshi probably has a thing that like shows him if someone's being greened. Like a detection service or user interface of some sort. So we are going to test this. So what we did, we went... To Cellbot HQ and Anthony, if you would like to play that video too, while I explain this, sure. we went to Cellbot HQ. It was an empty district, no other tombs to like mess around with. Like it was just us and two of our other friends. Um, that I'll purple skip mouse. This. I'll skip to yeah, that purple to mouse. This. Yeah, that purple mouse and the pink dog unicorn, who are also in that cog battle you're about to see. Yeah, they were with us, so we weren't like pulling other tombs or anything. And we said stuff. Yeah, we said stuff like, help, we're being greened. Help, the greener is greening. He's using sound on Lord Cogs. We're being green. I'm going to die. Right? We yep. did not report one tune. Nope, no one was all reported. We said, all we said was, help, we're being green. For all we know, we could have been making like a Toontown Let's Play or like a, a, like a random or, tune show. Wow. Yeah, they, they could have been video making. Video. They, they could, they, sorry to interrupt, but I'm like, they could have. People do that all the time. They always like quote role play, role play in the game, like, and they and they do things like that, like the warrior cats. I'm sure they say on inappropriate quote inappropriate stuff if you're taking everything literally. Like they they could be making, as you can see here, they could be making no. It's like they could be making a video about like, oh man, such and such gets greed. Oh no, like just just like a fun video for a channel or something. For all he knows, Goshi did not. Goshi did not know this. They, he did not know that they Hold were on, testing I'm, him. I'm going to explain the rest of the story. And so. whether or not they were testing him, that's irrelevant because they're not doing anything wrong. But go ahead. Yeah, for all we know, Goshi couldn't have the power to see if anyone's using the word green. We did not report anyone. So after this happens, like five minutes later, if Anthony, you want to skip to like the six minute mark or seven minute mark, um, we'll see. Yeah, hold on. I'm just, we, I just love to get, see a little more. They're actually playing the game. You'll see. You see them in the video, Rocky. They're you guys are attacking. You're defeating Cogs. No greening is occurring. No one's going sad. Yep. No, no one's going sad. This is and just, even if they did go sad, they're friends. So 
We're just having a fucking joke. Yeah. My bad for the line. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, here, I'll um, skip to... I'll skip a little seven. bit forward. Anyway, this white bear here, um, he just appears. I'll show you where he appears. He's like, not here, he's not here, he's not here. Then all of a sudden, he appears. Like, uh, hold on. Okay, you don't see him. He's not here. Wait, was that him? Oh, sorry. Yeah, there he is. He just kind of, like, appears. Like, he's not there. Whatever, it's, it's relevant. He just appears in a... Uh, he just appears very quickly, so it's obvious he can teleport right there, which, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah so I'm not saying that's an issue, just saying he can do that. But anyway, so he, this white bear work. appears. We'll link this video if you want to watch the full thing. We'll link it. But anyway, he, there he is. Uh, then they get done with the, the battle, and then Rocky Rocky goes over, and uh, he says, Goshi, why are you mad? You know, all this He's just, he's just messing with him right now. Mm -hmm. So, then what happens? We get kicked off the game for false reporting. Yes. Now, first of all, we were not even... We never laid a finger on that shiny report button. Nope. We were just having Joe saying, help, being green. Help, we're noobs. We're going to go sad. Help us. Okay? And then they just ban us. For one hour. Okay. First of all, what's wrong with this? First, they kick us off the game. They said, you've been warned. That is a lie, because we try to go back on, and it says a one-hour ban. So, like, why would you say it's a warning when it's a ban? It's just stupid. So then we're like, okay, one-hour ban. Um, even though it was for no reason, we can deal with it, you know? I hate it being against my record, because I did nothing wrong. But, oh well, I'll deal with it. I'll suck it up. At this point... I have to go to a family reunion. Um, so I'm like, damn, okay, man, gotta go. I'll be back around midnight. So go to that family reunion. I come home maybe at like, what, 11, 12 o'clock. And before going on the game, I'm interested. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, let me uh, let me check my email. Maybe I got an email for uh, for that one-hour ban earlier. I'd like to see what it actually says. Maybe, maybe it'll have some chat logs or some insights. Yeah, that'll be quite interesting to see. So I checked my email, and I bet everyone out there has had this one point where, like, for example, you're picking a gag, and you're like, oh, yeah, watch this gag miss. That's stupid. And then guess what? It does miss. I had that same type of feeling when I was checking my email. I was like, oh, watch this be a termination notice. Next thing I know, I check. Account termination notice. Ah. <sighs> And the reasons were inappropriate language, reining, rude behavior, harassment. Okay, I'll get into those specific reasons later. Um, he, almost. Oh, where the hell in this video do you see inappropriate language, greening, harassment, rude behavior? I mean, maybe okay, maybe you could say rude behavior because he said Goshi, why are you mad? But I mean, that's really stretching it, and that's really being butthurt and just. I, 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 for all I know, that could have been a random tune. He could have. He was Goshi. I mean, yeah. come on. And Goshi, and Goshi, the tune even said LOL, which means it caused no harm to that tune. Laugh yeah. out loud. Yeah, I mean, and then he's all like. We're having a joke. Then he's saying, like, I, I like girls. And they're like, okay, so if you're saying that, if you want to be real, like, easily offended, you could say, oh, I feel harassed now. I feel harassed because my tune's a girl and you're you're coming on to me. I and mean, you, could, you could say that too. So, I mean, I mean, if you're going to play the you can't do anything without it being offensive. Anyway, there you go. You see it in the video. Um, if you like I'm, what I'm saying there is you can make anything into being offensive or like a rule breaking. And another point I wanted to make about the false report. Do you realize how much false reporting goes on in this game? Actual oh false reporting, like, clicking the button and reporting. Because every time a tune does something that a, another tune does not like. Or every time a tune does something that does not perfectly coincide with what they, what someone wants them to do, what this other tune wants them to do, you hear reported. They immediately say reported. Never mind the fact it doesn't break a rule. Never mind that no rule is being broken. It's you didn't, you didn't do exactly what I wanted you to do. You're not kissing my ass, and I'm going to report you. So if every tune that did that got reported. I mean, got uh, got banned. There would not be very many people playing. If another point, and like I said, with the annoying, if every tune 
uh, that ever annoyed anyone in the game got banned, there would no be, there'd be no one playing. So, obvious bias is obvious. It's obvious bias. So, you know, I go all quit mode, rage mode, and I'm like, screw it, uh, FTTR, screw them. Time to post dance of the sad tunes videos. That's unrelated. But I'll give you a quick synopsis. It's all my greenings through our TTR. You can check them out in the description if you want. That's unrelated, but yeah, so and then uh I get another email from TTR and it was actually a disguised email and I'm like, wait, what the hell? Uh that's so unprofessional. And they're like, oh no, sorry. Um we didn't mean to do that, but um still um keep playing. Although I'm terminated, like, what the hell? Like, what kind of shit is that? Have fun in Toontown when I'm terminated. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So, uh, we post this to Reddit. Taco being abusive, you know. He takes it down immediately. So now I'm stuck with no tune. And, you know, Goshi is... Goshi is laughing his ass off. Inside. Um, yeah... That's my whole storyline with Goshi. Um, just really unprofessional, immature, abusive. I can't even give any other names to him. Anthony, anything Rob to add? Oh, I have tons to add uh, about my experience with Goshi. And then later on, we have Jollibee, his experience with Goshi. And uh, I don't know, we might have someone else. I don't think so, but you never know. We might. We might. Um, so uh, I just wanted to ask you, Rocky, what, uh, what happened in that email what 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 was unprofessional about like what what was different and like what was the point? oh what are you saying what well you well the title of the email was hello friend and they and it said live life love maverick we know good luck hmm? so they're said. pretending to be maverick and now? I, yeah i i have no idea because like, that's the email I got, and they tried to cover their asses by saying, oh, it was a forged email or something. But it had the certificate saying and it was, like, a legit email. But maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they got hacked by Maverick. I don't know. We don't know. We're, we're not going to speculate too much on that one. But, yeah, just um, we don't expect perfection. We just expect common sense and uh, yeah. and, non, and not too much bias. But we're, not, we're getting a ton of bias and very little common sense. But anyway. Okay, so, uh, Anthony, before you go into um, before you go into your banning, I apologize. Um, before you go into your three day ban, I'm just gonna say this: I went on the IRC to go see, like, ask about my termination. I was mm -hmm. terminated from the IRC. Right. Well, not terminated, but banned. I be banned. So I'm like, why the hell? Like, why the hell was I terminated from the IRC? I did nothing wrong on there. I've never cursed. I've never done anything rude. I mean, why would you ban me from the IRC? Come on. And, yeah, like, just Goshi probably did that. But I was fine on TTR support. Why get me from the Toontown rewritten IRC? I mean, because just to they, make they sense. like to hold things in-game against you outside of game, and they like to hold things outside of game against you in-game, as evidenced by Otaku. I mean, it's just, it's just how they are. They're like, they don't... They step over their boundaries... So to speak, that they should be, that they should not step. They step over boundaries. They should not step over. They, uh, they just, they're just very unprofessional. This moderation team. Now, I'm not saying they all are, because I've met some mods that I really like. Okay, I may not agree necessarily with every rule that they help or they support, uh, particularly, but they're not abusive. I mean, I, I'm perfectly fine following the rules, so long as those rules are, like. You can't get you so long as you're not. You can't just subjectively decide who's who's breaking the rules and ban whoever you want. Like it's like they might as well not have rules then, because we're not all held to the same standard at all. It's do you like me or not? If you don't like me, you will ban me. If I like you, I will let you get away with whatever. I've seen it happen. Uh, like uh, Rocky, weren't you green yeah. one time? And uh, and you asked, and you you reported. Oh, speaking of this, yeah, yes. you asked, yeah, you asked if the guy got. Speaking banned. of this, let me um, let me just go into this. So, uh, a few weeks ago, I was on the IRC. I was speaking to the random dog. I was telling him I was greened, 
uh, a few weeks ago, but I never got around to like asking the support about it. I also said how the tunes and that stinking band, if you remember in, later, earlier in the video, um, who called me a no life, why, why they didn't get banned. And he says, oh, well, that was based on, based on how the mod was feeling. Um, and what would you like me to do? And I'm like, well, dude, I like justice. They they said I have no life, and I, they didn't get banned. I would like just just they committed a worse offense than me. Yeah, and then they say the random dog says, "Well, don't be angry if uh, no action can be done against them, okay? Because the greening slash um, rude behavior, those incidents were too far back to be accounted for. Now this doesn't make sense because." For one thing, my Dance of the Sad Tunes videos, right? I when the hell have they? Sorry to interrupt you like that, but when the hell have they really? When the hell have they cared about what their rules were? Like, oh, we can't go that far. Right? When the hell has that mattered? When the hell has they? When the hell have they not just done whatever the hell they wanted to do? That's what I want to know. But go ahead. Yeah, exactly. So, for my Dance of the Sad Tunes videos and greenings <laughs> I've done in general, um, once I was getting towards, towards, let's say. Uh, when I was starting on my cash lot suit, like starting to work on it a lot, I stopped greening pretty much often. Like I would like green anyone who put my team in danger, but I stopped doing organized. Uh, like okay, this this guy's an ass. I'm gonna green him. Like no, because I didn't have time for that. I wanted to get my cash suit up. So I, that, that, I stopped greening majorly about a few months ago. Maybe like one month, two months ago. Is and then in the reason for my termination, they said greening. So my accounts, like my rules, my breaking of the rules, can go that far back. But these people, pe these uh, people who broke the rules, their uh, same rule breaking that happened a month or so ago won't be accounted for. Like what the hell? That's hypocritical. You're saying don't be mad if it was too far back. And then I asked him, well, if I post a video of all my greenings. Well, might I get banned? And he said, well, it depends on how many. What the hell? I, I mean, just, what does the you, number have to do with anything? Holy shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, according to them, it shouldn't matter if I posted Dance of the Sad Tunes part one, two, three, and four, because those were too far back. But this guy who, like, said I had no life two months ago won't get, um, won't get banned or had any action. That's just a plain bias on all of the mods. Yeah, you know that's all I've exactly. discussed. That. Rocky, would you like me to show? Um, you were telling me at some point you like you were greened, you were actually greened. I think it was a mint or something. You were greened, and a um, and then you the guy actually posted on your video, like ha ha, I did not get banned. Or he did something like he was the offender and he didn't get in trouble at all. But like you got in trouble. Or something. I don't know. Do you remember oh, what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yeah, I didn't get greened, but I would have had not. I used an SOS. He was laughing that he made me waste that SOS. He was passing, and you, they were using cupcakes, and it was obvious greening. You can show that video if you want. Uh, what do you have um, a link to it? My channel. Uh, I can't. I am on my mobile device, but it is somewhere on my channel. We we might Just add look that in. my videos. We'll remember to add yeah, that I'll in. Probably overlay that over the top of our audio editing. Yeah. yeah, at some point we'll add, we will. We should edit that in. But okay. All right. So um. Do you want to go ahead and talk about your um, three-day yeah, band now? Yeah, we got to talk about me at some my uh, uh, what I had happen here at some point. So I'll get to that. Um, <clears throat> okay. So my experience with Goshi probably I would say started one time when I was in the Berg. And um, let's see. Okay. So. I'm, you may, may or may not have seen our service commanding videos. I'll give you. I'll tell you quickly what that means. What a service commanding is. <clears throat> it's where we uh, go and find tunes with really good gags for their laugh. Uh, not a hundred laughers, of course. Like you know, like in the forty to sixty range ish. You know, they just have really good gags, like some like some max gags, some level six, like a lot of level sixes, like just high high average gags. Like like you know what, like their average gag is pretty high. And um. And we reward them for that. We we throw unites to them, uh, jelly bean unites, because uh, they they need them. But and they also I mean they we assume they need them because they like they can't hold they can't hold as many jelly beans in their jars. So we're assuming there's a good chance they might need them. And uh, additionally, 
they worked very hard, so we would we like to support that, uh, support training your gags and um, pulling your own weight and everything. So we're trying to help them out, and uh, so we, we run around and we uh, we service them and thank them for their service. It's kind of like a funny <coughs> funny joke there that we have, and we call them soldiers, like like they're in the army, like against fighting against the cogs, whatever, what have you, you know, just just something fun. And uh, they, it was Veterans Day actually, I believe. No, but yeah, it was. was Veterans Day. I don't know yeah. which one of the two. I can, Either I, can one. Never, I can never remember which one is on which month or whatever. But it was a couple months ago. Just know that. <clears throat> and um, so anyway, so we are doing this for a while, finding tunes, and um, we we make sure we don't give the unites like the other tune the low tunes don't get the unites because we're not trying to we're trying to make a special thing for these like an high, incentive for these high tunes for the not these these high gag tunes uh rocky we might have lost rocky for a second but anyway what oh I'm no here. he's here okay I, I yeah like it's an incentive like when we tell a low tune no you can't have any we say like if your gags were better you could as like an incentive type of thing uh, so they think, gee, maybe I might train my gags. It will not only get me service commended, but it might like help me, and I can contribute more. You yeah, know, because a lot, like, a lot of teams don't do that. Um, yeah, but like we, we never, we don't ever say like your your gags are terrible. Get out of here. Like we, no, we don't do that. We're always very, we're always very nice about it. We try to tell them, we try to tell them uh, that they train their gags a little more. We will unite them, and it like whenever we see them, we'll unite them. <clears throat> And um, they told that a lot of them, uh, a lot of them are fine with that. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go train my gags because like that's that's smart, that's really good because if you have high gags, you can take on more hogs and everything. A lot of people don't think about that. A lot of people just want to be carried by the high tune. <clears throat> that's another story. But anyway, long story short, we were doing this, and um, a lot of the low tunes were getting really butt hurt by this. They uh, they did not like the fact that. We were uh, uniting only the high, only the tunes that had good gags, and uh, like a it was mostly a couple of them that were just getting mad. Like a couple tunes were just getting like really butt hurt about things, and um, but anyway, and then but a lot of most of them were fine. But anyway, uh, so these couple tunes they decided to start spreading rumors, <coughs> not rumors. They just they just started saying that I was being like a dick or a jerk or whatever. A bully. Everyone. What's that? They, they they said this tune is a bully. Yeah, I, I remember? remember back. It was quite a, it was a few months back, so I'm trying. I don't remember it fully, but uh, like every last detail. But I remember for the most part. Yeah, you know, they said I was being a bully, et cetera, et cetera, being like all these things. And here I am trying to be nice and help people and do what I think will help the game and help the community. And um, I'm I'm getting harassed. I'm being told I have no life. I'm being I mean, I, I have it all recorded. I started recording it after a while. Uh, I mean, it's a very long video. I don't know if I'll post it or not. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see. But yeah, I'm being I'm being called all these things. Like, and I did nothing. And I, I just I, I got I somewhat argued with them, but not not nearly. I never called them anything. I was just calmly explaining to them why they're wrong and everything. But anyway, it was it was mostly a couple of tunes just saying saying these things about me, and then everyone. Just uh, all the sheeple out there just hopped on board with it, hopped on board with it, and everyone's getting all mad. Everyone's getting all mad at me, and I'm like public enemy number one when I'm just trying to help everyone, trying to do some nice things. But there are a couple tunes that say, you know what? I've been standing here for a while. I haven't seen him do any of this, so uh, no, I, I don't agree with you guys. A couple of them were like that. But um, yeah, so anyway, during this time, I got kicked, I assume, by Goshi. Because uh, there was no mod around, I assume he was using invisible mode. I got kicked many times, many times for this, and um, I just I kept getting it, it's just saying I was not being toony or something, and I've been warned or something, and I could hop back in into the game or something, like immediately, which is fine, whatever. This happened over and over, and I I, I just know I was getting like ex this is probably because I got so many bans, like not so many bans, so many um <coughs> so many reports. So, uh, anyway, it's just pretty ridiculous how we get kicked over and over and over when someone's watching this happen. So then now I'm getting worried. I'm like, wow, I've been kicked so many times. I'm probably going to get banned now for just being nice, trying to be nice and trying to help people. And it just became a huge, 
big deal over nothing. So then I tell, um, so then I, I sent TTR an email and told them, hey, uh, I just want to make sure I'm not going to get banned here. I have proof and everything. I didn't do anything wrong. I was getting massively reported. And I, t I described them the situation. And uh, here they actually, TTR support actually uh, did a good job because they said to me, oh, uh, don't worry, there are no strikes against your account, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but just make sure when you're service commending, don't uh, don't be rude to other tunes. Now I don't know if they're saying they thought I was. I don't think they are because I didn't get in trouble. But uh, I assured them I wasn't, which I wasn't. But it just points out like they're not even. It's like the other staff members do not even agree with what Goshi does. They don't. They don't agree with him most a lot of the time. At least in my experience, they don't agree. With and you'll have proof with that in a later story. Uh, Anthony's going to tell you in yes, a few so minutes. Yes, there's another story in a moment. One one second. Talking for a while, need some water there. <coughs> anyway, so yeah, that's basically my first encounter with Goshi, and then um, after that, uh, here's the big encounter. So, uh, one day I'm just uh, I'm in Cash by HQ, and I teleport to one of my friends. Was, uh, I don't know who it was. It was me. Was it, it was you? Me. It was you. Okay. Yeah. So I teleported to you, and um. You were you had one of your friends there, and yep. um, and I said and and you told me like, well you didn't tell me to do anything. I just kind of like teleported him. And I just started stinking your friend, and telling him please go away and all. I'm just like being funny, trying to mess with him, just be funny, and he just stood there. He just said LOL and he didn't do anything, and I never once said any. I never typed anything. I was just sitting there stinking him, telling him please go away. You stink. You need. And, and then and once. then you said you said no. You rock. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I said, no, you, a uh, uh, tune said, who, me? A ra another random tune that happened to be staying. I was like, no, dude, you rock. I'm, I'm like, it wasn't, it was obviously, uh, there's nothing incriminating here. I didn't do anything wrong. That's, that's all that happened. And, uh, so immediately it kicked. It says, you've been warned for rude, rude behavior. Behave next time or something. It's like, what? Uh, they, I'm like, oh, they must have thought I was, I was, uh, just being, trying to be rude to this random tune or something. Uh, who didn't take offense, and let me, by the um, way. Like, he, like, yeah, let me... Like, no, no, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Like, your friend right. didn't care or anything. Your friend never had an issue or anything. He's just like, whatever. He's just like, whatever. And he's like, all right, see ya. He goes to his mint. He goes to do his mint. And I, I never got warned or anything uh, prior to this. He never said stop or anything. <clears throat> so I don't know why I was kicked. And, uh, and I was actually kicked a few moments later. I went back to my house to garden. And uh, I was halfway through gardening, and I suddenly got kicked. That's when I got kicked. And, uh, so then I'm like, hmm, that's kind of odd. So I try to log back in. It's kind of weird. It's not acting right. So I'm like, hmm, I'll just, uh, I'll just close it. I'll just close the uh, launcher and, and restart it, and I'll, I'll type it in and uh, try to get it to work. And it wouldn't work. So I just check. I said, hmm, I'll check my email. And then it says, uh, and then I got an email that I was banned for three days. Banned for three days for that encounter right there. So I'm like, this can't be right. What? So I just tried to log in. Yep. Sure enough, I was banned three days. <clears throat> three days for saying you stink to a friend's friend and for saying, no, you rock in chat. With, with no warning. No, no prior warning. And when he got kicked, it said, yep, when he got kicked, it said, you have been warned. No, that that is a lie. That's a lie. That's not true. Should have said, you have been banned. Like, what? And he never even got one warning. The tune never told him to stop. Exactly. Like, what would have happened if he was stinking me? And and they, the TTR mods know we're associated as friends. So yes, what we're, if I we're on the friends, friends list. Yep. Yeah. Like, next thing you know, people are going to be banned for stinking tunes that are AFK, sleeping. Yeah, like, I mean, I, mean I, I see people all the time stinking each other, like, even if they're not friends. Even if they're just, like, getting ready to do a DA or something. They're just like, hey, you stink or something. Like, we do that all the time, just for fun. It's like, I don't know why... They treat us like I was actually doing a DA with someone uh, a couple days later, and I explained I was telling them I was telling them about my experience, and, and they were like, "Wow, that's so ridiculous." They they treat us like we are five years old, and uh, we all know that we're all not five years old. In fact, uh, at the end of Toontown, statistics were released to say that 60% um, of the player base was between the ages of 16 and 25. 60%. And now in TTR, I'm sure that number's only gone up. So this player base is not 
five years old. Uh, I'm okay with it being friendly towards younger players. That's good. That's fine. I don't care. I don't. I don't want. I don't want it to not. I won't. I don't want it to change. That's cool. But if it's in, if you stink and please go away, and things like that are in the game, once again, why are you not allowed to say them? Um. Yeah. So anyway. Click on the IRC. Yes, on the IRC. I will. Uh, I will bring that up. I will. I think I might pause the video for just a second to uh, go find that. Go find those pictures, and I will explain. Um, <clears throat> What happened on the IR6? So one second. All right, guys, we're back. Um, here is I'll zoom in so you can see it better. Here is the chat logs in the uh, IRC that I had. I originally started with the random dog. Uh, he's a good mod. I like him a lot. I think Rocky likes him too. And I've yeah, he's a yeah. And uh, I eventually moved on to Harv, but then Harv didn't respond, so I moved on to Gwen at the Random Dog's request. I'm fine with all these mods. Uh, I've had good experiences, particularly with the Random Dog and Gwen uh, in the past. So yeah, like these. I like these guys. That's cool. They're cool. And um, let me just make sure that's fine. Okay. I'm just going to wake up my tune, but he's fine. Anyway, so I asked him here. I asked him if he could help me out and all that. And, uh... I just explained the situation and like I didn't why I didn't find like I did I didn't see feel like I did anything wrong and uh, anyway he was unable to actually properly assist me because he doesn't have access or something yeah his access got removed uh, but he doesn't have it he's gonna get it back anyway and then he told me to move on to Harv Harv didn't respond you know he was kind of funny he told a joke to tell Harv anyway so basically Gwen's word works out here. And, um, <laughs> shut up. And, um, so, I just, uh, I just, I just explained the situation. She said she could try to help me, and I just, like, I explained, and then, uh, I'll show you where, she looks up my account, and, um, I'll show you where, what she said. Uh, hold on. Okay, so right here, she says, read, I'll read this to you. Hmm. Well, I pulled up your account and can't see where there was an issue. I can't remove the ban because I'm not the one who placed it, but you can reply to the email and I will send a personal message to the person who banned you and ask them to double check. And I was like, oh, great, that sounds great. I, that's, uh, I won't, I'll get this ban off and I won't have this against me, held against me when I was obviously just a uh, foolish misunderstanding and abusive moderating by uh, Goshi, I'm assuming, but I think we know who it was. Um, so I sent the email, uh, anyway, I sent the email, and I, uh, I said exactly what she said, sent that email, replying to the, uh, the ban, the email about the ban, which, uh, only said, it, it didn't say why, other than rude behavior, just rude, I, I don't know why rude behavior warrants three-day ban to begin with, but that, that was the only infraction, apparently, was rude behavior. Uh... I'll exit that. Uh, let's see here. I'll go back to my team. Well, it got disconnected. Whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, so I got uh, banned for. One more thing. I'm sorry. I got off track there. I lost my train of thought. But anyway, so I sent the email, and then uh, nothing happened. Nothing happened. But uh, the big point here is that she did not see where like, there was an issue. She obviously saw that that was poor moderating. It was not correct, but she couldn't do anything about it. But anyway, like I said, I sent the email. I got no response. I replied. I replied to the original email just like she said. And I got zero response. Um, a couple days later. Now this isn't. This is not. Uh, I'm not trying to say anything bad about Gwen because Gwen is probably my favorite TTR mod. Uh, like I said, one of my favorites. And uh, I, I've tried to ask her uh, the past couple days a few times um, if she could revisit it. Revisit, I mean, I'm not banned anymore, obviously, but if she could revisit it and, uh, and make sure that mod or some mod actually does that. and Because I don't want that on my record, regardless of whether I get unbanned or not. Because, I mean, cause show, they've shown a history of banning and warning for a bunch of stupid reasons. 
I don't want to get terminated, okay? I don't want to get terminated for not doing anything wrong. I think, uh, I think anyone would agree with that. Uh, that they wouldn't want, I think anyone, no, I don't think anyone would want to get terminated for doing nothing wrong. Rocky didn't want to get terminated, but he did. <clears throat> yeah. No, I mean, you could, I mean, he did slightly antagonize, but at the end of the day, you're a professional. If you're, I mean, you're not professional, but you're supposed to be professional. And there was a, a very high lack of professionality, professional behavior going on uh, by Goshi, particularly. Uh, let's see. But anyway, yeah, Gwen, I tried to talk to her a few times, like I said, after this, and I have not gotten a response back. Mo uh, I don't know if she's not on or not, if she was not on. I don't know. But I'm going to continue trying to, and uh, it may or may not do any good, because I'm sure Goshi, with his power-hungry ways, is going to keep the ban in place, or the uh, ban on my record, where I obviously did nothing wrong. And, uh... I'm sure most of the reasonable, reasonable viewers would agree. I mean, aside from the people that uh, consider you stink to be extremely offensive, uh, but it, if it's if you stink is so offensive, it shouldn't be in the game. Bottom line, it should not be a speech chat phrase. So uh, that's about all my uh, all I've got to say about it. Um, we had Jollibee that is going. We have Jollibee getting ready to come up here um, at some point and uh, go on this video. But do you have anything else you wanted to say before that happens, Rocky? Or, yes. Or do you want to conclude this portion of the video and then, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna conclude this portion of the video because Jollibee isn't on at the moment. We're gonna edit his part in his uh, two Goshi stories. I think you're gonna find this. Uh, his part, the most ridiculous. Yeah, his I won't part do any either. His part, that uh, his parts. When I heard those parts, I'm like, yeah, we got to make a video on this because this is out of hand. This is way out of hand, man. This is worse than the you stink thing, or or maybe oh, oh. even worse than the jumping thing. I mean, well, I think it is because the jumping thing didn't result in a ban. I mean, it's not more ridiculous. I don't know. Well, depending on your perspective, it's not. It, it's about as I'd say it's as ridiculous as the jumping thing, but there are worse consequences. And then there was just biased moderating, just extremely biased moderating, uh, not even having to do with like the game, like just, just having to do with like outside biases based on the servers, not even having to do with in, in the game gameplay. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get to that. You'll see that. But uh, for now, we'll conclude. This portion of the video. Hold on. I have two I more things. As after, two more I, mean, I mean, after you go, Rocky. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, Goshi, he is <laughs> a mod and also a translator. Keep him as a translator. I don't care and the fact, like, to an extent that I was terminated. This video isn't a plea for my termination to be removed. Like, uh, I can just deal with it. My 115 lap is gone. Suck it up. Deal with it. I'll, I'll make another one. I'll, I'll, help, I won't, I'll help him. Uh, I'm going to help him. I won't do anything. Yeah. yeah. So this isn't a plea to get unterminated. No, that's not what we're here for. We're here to inform the public and hopefully the TTR staff on everything. Thing Goshi has done, and that we know. That I couldn't hear less. Yeah, that we know. Only of. that we know. I, of. I mean, this, we're just three people. We're just three yeah. people in this video. Like, imagine, imagine all the other people that have had uh, been unjustly treated, but didn't care enough to make a video, or did not like. They just didn't want to. Um, if you guys, anyone watching this, have any uh, any other. Uh, stories or anything, uh, feel free to comment or um, let us know. Just, you know, because we're, uh, we, we want something done. I mean, if he's not going to be, like, removed, we want him to... Just be a translator. Just change his ways. We want him to not... He he needs to be held accountable, okay? I don't uh, care if he... Joey doesn't... I'm sure Joey's I don't not care okay he, with all this. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if he keeps his privileges as a dev. Or whatever. Keep a translator. Goshi, I respect, even though I don't speak 
or doing any of the languages you translate. I respect you for putting all the effort. It must be a pain in the ass to translate the whole game, uh, speech up phrases and all. I bet you stink. I bet you're going to not translate that. Ha ha. Respect you for that. Respect you for that. And that only. Uh, don't keep Goshi as a mod because he is unprofessional and he'll, he'll just ruin your whole game. Okay. And then one more thing. Thing. Anthony, if you want to look at the links I sent you, look at that last link. We can show our viewers a little oh, yes. something I'll else look about at this Goku. last link. Um, this screenshot here. <clears throat> for those for those of you that are unaware, um, this is what Goshi. We got this straight from Goshi's uh, site, Toontown.me. Uh, his his Toontown.me site. I don't know. I've never heard of the site before, but apparently Rocky knew about it. And uh, he's got a few screenshots here. This is what Goshi does. Okay, when we say he goes invisible, he does this. Um, he can only see himself here. No one, you can walk right through him. No one, no one sees him. You can here. see a um, video in the description, or I'll overlay it right now. I posted a video um, yesterday, and I've probably I'm been working with a friend on a revamped version of it on the inside outs of how Goshi and other mods can spy on you, and and this is partially how. Yeah, just be aware. I mean, I'm not. I don't have an issue necessarily with the ability to spy. <clears throat> the ability to spy, because if people are literally like actually doing like, if they're really doing things wrong, and you happen to be there, like a cop happens to be there, okay, it's good if they get in trouble. But I mean, you gotta use some common sense with it, man. You gotta if if you're able to do this, and you're as biased and as like messed up a moderator as we've, we've already proven you to be, you, you shouldn't be able to do this, because that's just... You're just abusive. Yeah. He's just so abusive. And But anyway, this is how he does it. He, he goes invisible like this. Okay, so like here... Uh, I just want to point out here, Goshi could... He could ban you here for... Uh, if, say... say he someone, probably banned this guy. Look, yeah, someone, this guy's yeah. name is McQuack. That's a staff member. You're not allowed to have... An, the same name as a staff member. So he could as easily do two squigglies, because all it takes is to select the tune, which he's done, two squiggly lines, and then uh, say kick, and it'll automatically kick him off the game, just because his name's McQuack. That's all he has to do without him even knowing. Yeah, and I was, what I was going to say is, I wasn't even going to say that, I was saying, like, maybe these are new tunes. See, they're in Tune Hunt Central. Well, what if one uh, doesn't let the other train? Like in uh, Jollibee's instance. Or what if one um, makes a bad gag decision or accidentally like, or lags they just and use marbles. He, he just, just use marbles. Yeah, he, on a level five he could he could just ban them because they don't they didn't pick gags in the, the way he thinks they should. Like, I mean banning for gag choices is just honestly ridiculous. That's just that's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. That's that's even almost as ridiculous as it's probably as ridiculous as banning for jumping and saying you stink. That's just wow. Like, you, it's your gags for a reason. You earn those gags. And in either way, if you don't know how to play, and what if you don't know how to play? Like, how do you know someone's greening? They might just not know how to play. Like, I mean, I don't know. I just, I can't, I struggle with that. I struggle with the logic on that. I struggle with the logic of a lot of things that Goshi does, but, you know, we've all, we've indicated that clearly. But yeah, this video is running pretty long here, most likely. I actually, I know for a fact it has. Um, but anyway, uh, Rocky, you want to go ahead? I'm, I'm about done. All right. So I need to... uh, yeah, just to reiterate, this isn't about me wanting to get unterminated. Just stay away from go. I hope what people get from this, even the little kitties who dislike us all the time, I hope they actually listened. Probably didn't, but... Um, if you've listened or watched up to this point, I hope you take into consideration that he's not only biased against us because, like, we say you stink and people think we're rude. No. They, they show this bias to many people. Well, um, like, jumping, like, Warren for jumping, and Jollibee story, which we're going to hear about in a few minutes. Yeah, and, um, I mean, it's been a, or they might have heard about it yet already. I don't know. Um, I don't know when, when we're putting that in. But, um, and, like, my cousin Jeffrey, like... He didn't even play that much, and he's already had a bad experience with Goshi. So, I mean, yeah. <coughs> Alright, so, I'm gonna edit the part in right now, so, 
Uh, enjoy Jolly's story.